My name is Brianna Arthur. I'm currently a third year occupational therapy student and I'm applying for the paediatric placement in Vietnam. I've always been interested in working with children and when choosing our bachelor to study in grade 12, I tried to find one that had um, paediatrics in it. And when I found out OT had it, well, that was another box I could tick and three years later, I'm here still studying that degree. Recently, I just completed a 10 week placement, which was at the University of Queensland Children's Life Skills Clinic. Each day I came into placement was different and unique to what I expected and that was my favourite part about the placement. Um, I was able to work alongside with these kids and I was completely mesmerised and inspired by their sheer determination, their stories and their strength to not give up and continue to engage in their occupations despite the barriers they experienced. And that ability to be part of such a rewarding process makes me quite passionate about working with children and it's an area I hope to be a part of in my future. Um, practice. I also currently work as a carer for the Oxley Disability Services and I've been seeing a little boy who's about three years old um, for about seven months now and he has Down syndrome and autism. I'm very passionate about immersing myself in other cultures, stepping outside to what I know and are comfortable with and learning from other children especially their way of life and how it differs from ours. So during my previous placement, I was lucky enough to be exposed to several situations where I had to work within a team setting. So for example, within my SPOT program run at the Inala Health Clinic, I was partnered with a first year GEM student, that was speech pathology, and this experience was one of my first opportunities to work within an interdisciplinary team. I gathered a greater understanding about speech pathology and their role when working with clients, and I also had a further understanding of the OT role. And from this, I was able to share and educate my speech partner on the benefits of occupational therapy for the client in that situation. So even though I learn a lot about interprofessional education from the Inala Clinic, the placement in Vietnam contains students who are from speech pathology, physiotherapy and OT who are in their final years of study and I feel as though this will provide a greater learning opportunity to educate and learn where the other health professional roles come in and how they benefit the client when working together. I strongly believe that for a professional to grow and work in a team setting um, and to provide the best possible service feedback and reflection is necessary. Within my placement I was required to work within a very complex network of team settings and from this complex network I found that constant feedback and reflection was essential to ensure that cohesive practice was being implemented. I also found that it was very important to remember that using feedback as a skill on its own isn't enough to ensure um, cohesive teamwork, that to ensure that the best practice is being provided for the client, feedback needs to be put in collaboration with time management, clear and simple communication and also stress management skills as well. Otherwise, the feedback you provide between each professional um, won't be able to be taken on board and implemented to benefit the client. So even though my previous placement has provided me with um, the experience to work within a variety of different team situations, I believe that I need to continuously expose myself to challenging situations in very different contexts to work on and build my skill set to ensure that any team I'm a part of, the practice is going to benefit the client. When working within team settings, at times I was required to take on more of a leadership role. And the experience of having to step into this role, I learned how to adapt and adjust my communication based off the person I was interacting with. So for example, communicating with a child versus communicating with a parent and changing the terminology um, and language I used when talking with them. I also learned how to incorporate clinical reasoning to justify decisions and recommendations that were made throughout therapy sessions. My SPEF final results also provided additional feedback back explaining that throughout my placement I've been able to integrate strategies and implement effective therapeutic use of self to engage the child and establish rapport, which I believe is a crucial skill to have when working with a child in a different cultural setting. While this is an area I believe I have grown in, it is still one that I need practice and to increase my confidence in. I believe that this placement in Vietnam will provide me with the scenarios where I will be encouraged to step outside my comfort zone and utilize the skill set that I have to then reflect and learn my role as an occupational therapist and how it is influenced by these aspects such as culture and also content. I was exposed to the Indigenous cultural diversity when working within the Inala Health Clinic, um, which was basically my first experience into seeing how culture can influence practice and how crucial it is to acknowledge a person's culture for them to feel as an equal partner in therapy and for them to be motivated to continue therapy. I learned how to be adaptive and flexible in my service provision to ensure that the activities and language used was culturally sensitive to the clients. While this is pretty much the only experience I have had, um, it has really opened me up to see how culture can influence practice and I'm motivated to learn and increase my knowledge in this area. 
In terms of Vietnamese cultural diversity, I have not had a lot of experience. I expect their values, concerns, beliefs and way of life to be different than in Australia. But despite my expectations, I would go into this experience with an open mind and build relationships with the people there to learn about culture from their perspectives and immerse myself into it. From the exposure that I um, from the exposure, I hope to be able to transfer these skills to future situations that may be culturally focused. These experiences have helped me to produce high quality interventions where I can display my hard work, commitment and passion for working with children. They also provide me with the opportunity to show and explore creative and alternative strategies which I really enjoy to do. Um, I enjoy also to be tested and thrown into tough situations where I can make the most of my learning opportunities. Working with kids previously I have learned to be flexible, adaptive, time efficient and to have good stress management skills because you need them. Within the Anali clinic especially, um, there were about six weeks where I had continuous cancellations with clients and I didn't actually see a client for this period of time. So I had to learn to think on my feet and be very time efficient um, and use my time wisely within this period of time. These skills, I believe, are very important for an overseas placement where you're required to think on your feet in an unfamiliar context, be resourceful with what you're provided and also be flexible to deal with schedule changes as well. So despite the experiences I've been lucky enough to have, I believe that I've only scratched the surface to um, help grow my professional body of knowledge and enhance my skill set. Exposure to rare and challenging situations will provide the best learning opportunities. While I'm currently aware of how culture and environmental environment influence occupational therapy, I would make the most of an opportunity to experience and understand how OT is influenced by other cultures and how maybe a different context and country will influence growth in myself and in my role as an occupational therapist. So it would be amazing to represent the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences in Vietnam to be able to implement the skill set that the school has taught me over the years.